Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing the Yu-Gi-Oh! False Fun Kingdom randomizer playthrough. Uh, we are on Going the Distance in Kaiba's campaign. I forget which mission this is. It's probably forgettable. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It is forgettable. Um, Kaiba, you're just gonna stay here, just in case. <laughs> um, so... we have... Karibos coming at us first. special. It can't be bad, right? Wow, that Kribo has a lot of AP. That's about all I can say about it that's good. No items. Um... I think we go after the thing that had just powered itself up a whole bunch. Because as long as it doesn't get off like two attacks, that uh, power up is actually meaningless. We'll just do another thousand point breath. Now we can kill the Karibo since it's at one hit. Take a hit from Gaze Gazelle. What? Okay. <coughs> Karibo just took his entire health bar and damage from that crit. And it was at like 200. <laughs> One of those, like, well, if I knew I was going to do that much damage, I would just hit the gazelle. Because I could care way more about killing that. Um, generally with the randomizers, though, Karibos usually tend to be stronger than they are in the base game, and it's already a really good creature. <clears throat> so, it's always something to watch out for. If the um, Skull Soccer doesn't use its special, it's probably right to just hit the Gazelle. Oh. Well, guess the Gazelle guarded. Guess it sold out his teammates. The guard is kind of silly because, like, I have two other perfectly acceptable and viable targets. So, like, that's the problem with guard. It's like, well, guard does almost nothing for any of the other creatures. I mean, it just makes them targets. Unless you get lucky that the AI chose the one and three. And if a human's on the other side, they're just never going to make that mistake. 
Well, this one had it's a little bit worse for wear, but I mean, we can just move it outside of the base, heal it real quick, and then move it back in if we want to. Um, but I do want to give some experience to Labyrinth Ruler, so I guess I'll just do that now for a little bit. And I'll move him outside of the base and heal him. You're probably never healing with that. Oh my. That's... That lava battle guard was really far around. Insect clean, huh? Do that. Oh. You have status guard. Congrats, you became target number one. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, it's so disgusting. When the crit just ends your whole existence. Well, it just went, so I'm pretty confident in this poison not taking it out, so that's good. Especially with the gate guardian attack coming right afterwards. Get guardians almost to get to level 40 where it can start gaining some stats oh man well rex now you did it um i don't know who is better off here field adepts so the winged dragon is probably doing well although it would have been fine in a castle anyways uh we got field adept on you an actual fight outside of a base Well, the Winged Dragon guarded, so I guess I go after the Hitatsumi Giant that has armor against my better judgment. Um... I'm just hitting one target. If they're all gonna guard, I'm not going to bother hitting into them. Oh, hey Tatsumi, let's see it. 
one hit. Where are you putting it? Oh. Well, I guess you're just dead. What? That order roll. Oh well. Well, this team is relatively strong. Hopefully he doesn't just, you know, target the Thousand Dragon or something. Even then, I don't think he has enough damage to straight up kill it. Okay, um, I'm going to make sure and go after this Winged Dragon. Um, I'm probably going to use the Thousand Dragon special, so if I can put it and the Lava Battle Guard low enough to just die, or Swamp Battle Guard, to die to, die to the special, that's good enough for me, I think. Oh. I should get two turns before, or two creature turns before that he talks to me goes again. So, unless it outrolls my thousand dragon, which it hasn't been doing. But uh, this is actually making the two-headed King Rex look usable, unlike the base game where it was literally just fusion fodder for twin-headed the whole time. Well, let's see what ends up happening here with the movement. Okay, good. That's about what I would have preferred to happen. Um, these guys have such little HP that I probably don't want to even bother with the power of natures. I just kill stuff, right? And we have the biggest uh, enemy to, po uh, to armor, which is poison. Although I do have a rainy. Which might be just an enemy to their entire team. But yeah, poison is brutal for um, armor to deal with. Um, he is also lucky, so we just kind of ignored it. Okay, well, he wasn't lucky enough. Although I'm pretty sure I have mostly silver bow and arrows on this team at this point, so... Dodging is not great. My spirits and warriors are just super good. Although, in this, you can use dragons, which also get dragonic attack. Which is just as good as silver bow and arrow. Well, almost as good. It costs seven times as much. Actually, it's like five times with the discount, but it's still an unbelievable cost. For something that only works on dragons and instead of working on both spirits and warriors and having the same effect.
Okay, well, we won. I don't believe there is a um, any encounters on this one, so. Not one of those. Okay, Rex, you're going over here. Kaiba, go down there. This looks pretty good. It's a big miss from our opponent. Also, uh, anyone notice our fairy's gift is uh, got almost 3,000 health? Yeah, yikes. My fairy's gift has more health than my gate guardian. Okay, well, um, this is just going to be cleaning up. This is not really a close fight already. It's pretty brutal. Okay, now just last creature. Maybe I should have checked. Are any of these anything I actually want to ever use? Insect Queen without being a nope. So probably not. Status card's good, but everything else is bad. And this has Castle Adept and level 2 magic. Wow. Underwhelming. And poison's probably not going to take this thing out, so that's nice. Oh, it just straight up died to the hit. Okay. Yeah, uh, Fairy's Gift is actually stronger than Gate Guardian right now. Well, this has armor, which is nice. Nothing good there. Not really anything of value there. So I believe there's no um, random encounters here or like roaming encounters or whatever. So we're just going to go, once Kaiba captures this, I'm going to just send him over to deal with Scott. Yeah. Scott looks a little annoying, but I believe in Kaiba. So, um, yeah. You guys have enjoyed the series so far. Um, I have definitely, um, I can tell I've done better recording it than I did any, than Duels of the Roses for a while, so that's been nice. Um, I think I recorded 30 episodes in, like, two days, so, um, if you want to know where my head's at compared to with Duel of the Roses. 
Uh, so if you're when you're seeing this, it's probably been a month since I recorded this. has made a choice and guarded with one of the mobs, which is annoying. Oops. Well, this can't miss because it has Dragonic attack. So, it's us versus a mob, and it's, it's still a caterpillar. Somebody forgot to give it a cocoon of evolution, so, um, yeah, I don't think Scott did very well here. Good job, Kaiba. This is a complete and utter slaughter. Wow. Um, we turned the tables a little bit on Scott here. But, um... He re reveals that he was only using a hologram, and uh, now we have to go chase him down again, apparently. Okay. Well, now we can bring Weevil <clears throat> and Bones. Oh, we got the double super stamina? Oh no. Oh no, that's so sad. Although, this thing is pretty well juiced. Um, so creatures change their colors based on time within a mission, so like since we're killing missions so quickly, things aren't really getting a chance to adjust. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But we are getting there. Um, and I haven't really had a need to change anybody out on my team in a while, because we pretty much have what I want to use. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's other creatures that we could be using, but... Like, this garbage. But yeah, I, I mean... I think this is where we're going to leave it off for the day. Uh, we've gotten through a lot of um, Kaiba's campaign. We still have to get Mokuba back, but that'll take a while still. So, And I don't think I need to have this team. Um, this team will be great for dealing with the final set of Egyptian gods. Uh, um, but until then, I don't think we need that team. So until then, we're doing great. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.